Hello everybody! Today for Sunday Fun Day we're going to see how I draw an aquatic man. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpie. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. So I've got... Okay, so here's what we're doing. This, it's Aquaman. You know, I'm drawing Aquaman, but I'm not drawing superhero Aquaman. I'm kind of drawing a an aquatic man. That's just the best way I could say it. Exactly what I said from the beginning, an aquatic man. But it's not going to be Aquaman. You know, I'm drawing what I think an aquatic fish person would look like. And Let's see, and that's it. That's about all I can say. I don't know why I'm trying to elaborate. Um, just, you know, I'm just, I'm just, it's Sunday fun day. I get to do whatever I want. So I'm kind of crossing between a man, a fish, uh, a jellyfish, a, a hammerhead, and creature from the Black Lagoon. That's the best way I can say that's where I'm going with this. Okay, so, again, just making it up as I go, just throwing stuff in here. So, um, I've kind of had this idea, too, that his, his arms are kind of like angelfish. You know, like the, uh, like the big, the big uh, fins on the top and the bottom of an angelfish. But, I also kind of see it as, well, what if those are like bat-like wings? Almost like those are his fingers. So, he can stretch out and, you know, um do this like a bat does you know so I'm kind of almost giving them like bat wings yeah but I got to be careful because I don't want to do it like a bat I want it to be like angel uh, angel fish wings God. <laughs> I drew a blank on the word here so um and if I can, I'll do like some coral or something on them, you know, something a little different, but uh, we'll see because I'm gonna run out of time too. So I, I just gotta be careful as to what I draw and what I'm allowing myself to do, you know? And so, like I said also too, it's gonna have a little cross of Creature from the Black Lagoon, kind of uh, gills, fins, and whatnot. Okay, so, so for the face, I think I'm going to do like, uh, it's almost like, how can I do this? So he needs to have like fish eyes and then it's kind of going off to the creature from the Black Lagoon type of head, but not. You know what I mean? So I don't want to. I don't want to do exactly like Creature from the Black Lagoon, but I want to. There we go. There we go. So if I shape it around like this, and then I can. I almost want to not do. No, I got to do something. I, I was gonna say I almost want to not do the uh, um, jellyfish head, but I kind of. I kind of have to, right? I mean. Um, it's got to be something because if I try to do just like color over the black you're not gonna see it's gonna look like it's behind his head so um, I think maybe that's what I'll do I'll do that super thin with the, the thin sharpie and uh, and build from there so I, I'm good I, I'm 100% I'm happy with this I say let's get going I'm gonna switch over to sharpies and I'm gonna welcome everybody that skipped to this portion of the video let me just erase some of this so the sharpie stands out and not the pencil sketch Plus it's kind of all over the place, so I need to erase all those sketch lines that are unnecessary and just leave the confidence lines. Okay, that's still on, right? Where I had it, we're still in the frame. Yeah, we are. All right, here we go. So 
Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every day. You can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point. The pen is a little finer than the fine point and can, can find some of the lines that the fine point can't quite find. So with that being said, I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the darker lines and left myself a ghost of an image that I usually use do make with a special computer, but this time I'm using it with an eraser. I'm going to start off with the Sharpie pen because I want the head of the face that's inside the jellyfish to be light and faint to stand out like it's inside something. So I'm just going to play around with the eyes that I drew and keep it all super thin and light. And I'm just going to play around with like some kind of like aquatic uh, fish eye. And then I'm going to kind of play around also with the fact that he's kind of a, a creature from the Black Lagoon type kind of guy. Um, let's see. So how am I doing the head? I'm going to bring it up like this. And again, I just kind of want to keep it nice and thin with uh, this Sharpie. So maybe I won't connect. Maybe I'll do stuff like that where I'll just kind of like, uh, kind of... Uh, Uh, um, imply that you know there's more to it that it's, it's back behind that bubble or inside the, the the bubble that you can't quite see everything okay there's some some strange nostrils that we'll give him there and then we'll draw those lines out to more gills like this and then let's say we'll give him a mouth And, and make it like undefined too. So there you go. So I got the small circle floating off as part of his mouth. Who knows what that is? You know, that's just our design of keeping it cool and crazy. So here we go now. So now I'm starting to work with the jellyfish. And so now I want the outline of it to be super thick. Uh, I've got kind of these big eyes on the jellyfish. So I'm going to go ahead and do those. And again, I'm not going to connect it. I'm just going to keep it nice and, and thin. And the, out, the outline of it I'll do thicker, but again, it's a jellyfish, so I want it to be transparent, you know, a little loose and, uh, and uh, uh, otherworldly. I think that's a wor the word I'm looking for. So there, so I'm not really going to connect everything, and maybe with color, that's going to pop a little bit more, okay? So, let's go to the Big Sharp. And so I've got it in kind of a, this, this flowy, like, uh, almost like a... Uh, a bouffant um, color so we're just gonna play around with that that idea I drew it but I'm not gonna quite do that you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about here so I'm gonna go ahead and just draw the top of the jellyfish go ahead and define it as super dark like that and that'll kind of give us an edge to play with so I'm just gonna work from here to the hammerhead type eyes that I just had kind of have just kind of kind of floating out and ooh, yeah let's do that let's do like there like it's kind of behind it, but you can't quite see. So like maybe, maybe the, uh, the eye is, is, uh, is bending the image just a little bit, you know, something like that. So here, yeah, I can kind of come out to that hammerhead eye. And kind of come back in, I'm gonna stop there. Do the same thing here. Do like the little hammerhead head eye looking thing like that. And then I'll go ahead and just kind of do something like this just to kind of give it some some definition of uh, some weirdness, you know? Just a little bit of, you never know what it is, you know? Because this is Aquatic Man. He doesn't have a definition. You, you can't put any, any reins on him. You don't know, you don't know him. You don't know what he's about. All right, so I'm gonna thicken up this outer line just a little bit just to kind of match the uh, the outer edge because of how thick that is. But that's it. So I just want to keep it for that edge. So, ooh, you know what else we should do? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Let's draw like the the uh, the outer edge of the um, jellyfish. Something like this. There you go, and I'm just kind of making this up, and I think I'm gonna come back with the smaller Sharpie and add just a little bit of 
definition on some of these other parts just to you know kind of add some some uh, some ink and design you know just a little a little bit of something of of uh, again otherworldliness you know so we don't quite know what's going on and that's kind of also the nice thing is no one can really tell us we're wrong you know so there just kind of I'm also kind of playing around with because it's a jellyfish things are just kind of weird and swirly inside there you know you really can't tell what's going on so here's what I want to do I'm gonna take this other Sharpie pen that I have it's a little bit thicker than this one and I'm gonna draw like some of those those tentacle things that just kind of float off jellyfish you know just kind of that yeah, still might be kind of thin you know something like this just to I'm afraid it's a little too thin though but well, we're gonna keep going yeah it's too thin it's too thin I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to try it with the big sharpie so let's see if I can just trace over that real fast there you go so I'm barely pushing down just so I can get a little bit thicker but not too thick and it, it helps too because the uh, the shakiness of it is helping to define that it's this weird uh, um, tentacle tentacle yeah I was gonna say tentacled finger but no tentacle is the right word I don't know why I'm trying to find a different one okay uh, let's do a few more just, so just some strange just some weirdness you know from like the jellyfish how they have those those weird little lines hanging down like that tentacles why do I keep trying to find different words tentacle is a very strong word and it's it's the appropriate word so that's another weird thing of why am I trying to find something different all right okay so we'll do one more on this side too and you can see that I'm making it up so if yours don't go in the same exact position as mine it's okay don't worry about it I'm making it up 100% all right so there we go strange jellyfish so now I got to draw the rest of them but underneath there and kind of uh, you know keep it keep it flowing keep it strange and see where we can go with this so I don't think I want to draw the I was thinking about drawing like putting on some kind of like kind of like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean how Davy Jones and all them have barnacles and and things growing on them I was thinking about that but I think not I think I don't want him stationary like fish don't have that so why would he so let's just give him some strange shoulders coming in like this and see it's gonna come down there like that I'm gonna go ahead and draw his arms and one thing I was talking about in the sketch is that I want him to have like angel fish uh, fins like the top and the bottom of an angel fish but they are also looking kind of a little bat like because I want his fingers to be in like these are his arms you know but it's his side so let me draw his chest real fast just to give us some definition of, uh, of where his sides are gonna be and um, let's go all the way to his hips and that's kind of the nice thing is I'm, I'm, I'm kind of basing his body too like on creature from the black lagoon and the nice thing is you know we, we are creating this we're making this so I can I can make it as weird and squiggly and strange as I want okay let's say his crotch is right about here so that means his legs gonna be like this I'm gonna draw his other one like that okay so that defines uh the edges that we can bump with the these uh angel fish uh fin arms okay so let's do this let's how about we give him the bones of his fingers for like the the uh not this one for like the uh 
fingers and the in the arms to say if this is his hand we're just gonna do something like that just to define a few places for me like that so see kind of a little hand and then we'll say that's his thumb So something like that, okay? Not, not set in stone, not that's definitely his hand, but just something to give it that, that yeah, maybe those are fingers, you know? And again, to give it an otherworldly strangeness to it, because this is not real. No, and then that's the other thing too, is nobody can tell us we're wrong. We're doing whatever we want. Okay, so again, his thumb, I'm gonna do to about right there. Come over to his fingers. And look, it's off, it's different. It's not like that other one, but that's okay because that makes it random. It kind of breaks up the, uh, the monotony. One of the things uh, one of my teachers taught me is don't make it symmetrical. He hated symmetrical. He's like, no, that's boring. You need to make it different and stop doing symmetrical because I would always want to do it perfectly all the way down each side, just the way it is. And I still do it. I am not looking to lie, but you know, he was trying to teach me to break it up, make it look different and, and get out of my, uh, the way I normally do things, you know, to, to mix it up a bit basically is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I'm going to, Let's see, his knees like kind of like this. And you know what I'm gonna do too? I am going to, no, let's finish up the outline and then I'm gonna come back and give him like fins, almost like, like Creature from the Black Lagoon fins. Um, to, uh, to mix it up. Okay, so there's where his foot's gonna be. His ankle. And that's where his foot would be. But we're gonna give him like the big flippers like that again I'll add some detail in a second and this one I've got kind of a little bit behind him so I'm gonna bend his knee right here bend it down so that means his calf is gonna be back here that's where his his uh, his um, heel is gonna be and his foot's coming down in here like this So it's back behind him like that. So I'm kind of, he's kind of doing one of these, you know, swimming through. So now that that's done, I'm gonna add some crazy little fun stuff with this Sharpie right here. Just to kind of do like uh, some, some uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon type gills. Just to break it up and have some fun, okay? How's yours coming out? You like it? Awesome. All right, so now I'm just kind of again, just do some, you know, where, where he would have gills and, and uh, fleshy, fleshy flesh flesh, fish flesh. Right? Does that make sense? Doesn't matter because this is how I draw. I do what I want and no one can tell it we're wrong. I keep I keep emphasizing that. Almost like somebody someone has told me I'm wrong. Nobody has. I'm just trying to fill you with confidence and tell you, you know, do what you want, do what makes you happy. And this is what makes me happy. Drawing strange fishmen, aquatic men, an aqua man, if you will. Just, uh, you know, have some fun. Gotta have more fun in life. It's called Sunday Fun Day for a reason. And so remember, I'm making this up, so if yours doesn't follow this, it's okay. Don't worry about it. You do what makes you happy. 
All right, there we go. I think that's good. I want to do the rest with color. So for Sunday Fun Day, that is an aquatic man. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.